I just find it very interesting that just literally days after the movie has its limited release, you can buy and purchase this movie. In Fear is about two people who are on their way to a rock concert when they decide to make a pit stop for the night at a hotel. But once they get on the road, they find themselves running circles and can't seem to get off this road. Now, if that premise sounds very boring to you, then you don't need to watch In Fear because that's pretty much what In Fear is about. This film also lends itself to the Blair Witch Project a whole lot. So if you're not a big fan of the Blair Witch Project and films that mainly consist in one location, then you're not going to like this film. Now, one thing I found very interesting about this film was that the director himself actually withheld the plot and the script and all the little juicy details about this film for the actors before they started shooting. He wanted the reactions from the actors to feel real. And I feel like because the director withheld that information, it does help with the performances. The performances are very good in this film. Alice Ingard, sorry if I butchered that, is so good in this film. So good to the point that I want to see more out of this actress. You know, she was in Beautiful Creatures and I liked her in that as well. If you're someone who doesn't like riding in cars or gets very claustrophobic, then this might not be the movie for you because I felt that claustrophobicness, the very small roads, the dark darkness of the outside, the unknowing feeling that someone is chasing them, that something bad is going on on this road. Thanks to its cast and its director, In Fear could have come off very tiresome, boring, and very repetitive, but thanks to its cast and crew, it comes off very suspenseful, very intense, and very engaging, and I was very fully invested into the story the entire time, even though it does fall a little flat in the end. I don't know what it is with horror movies and thrillers these days, but a lot of the times when it comes to their final acts, they're not in a sense terrible to the point where they ruin the film, but they're always the most lackluster parts of the film. It's just that suspense and that tension subtained so far kind of pampers out in the final act. And it actually reveals a few plot holes, and since the director withheld information, maybe if he'd given them more information, it would have fleshed out more and wouldn't have felt like a final act. So as a score, you guys go, I'm going to give In Fear a 3 out of 5. It's a nice, simple little thriller that's worthy of your time if this is your cup of tea. So, have you seen In Fear? What are your thoughts of it? Are you debating whether or not to watch it? Make sure you leave those thoughts in the comments section below. And until next time, you guys, I'm the Slash Review Revere, and you guys have just been slashed.